Good morning, everyone. If I tell you that sinus medicine had me going, I, uh, I suffer with sinuses, and, and I, I'll keep waiting until I get to the point where I just can't take it, and then I'll take the medicine, <laughs> and it because it knocks me down. But anyways, I woke up with this on my mind, and I'm telling you, it's a good feeling. Brag on God. Brag on God. That's what we got to get in our lives. Brag on God. You have to learn that that's the most important thing that you can do in your life. You know why? Because out of all the things that you go through, he never left you, never forsaken you, never turned his back on you. And everything about you, it comes from him. God is such a magnificent name to call upon. And you know, I think about that song this morning. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. We got to get to that point that we really feel it down in our soul, down in our hearts. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because what? He first loved me. See, we can brag about that. We can brag about that because he is the very reason that we are where we are right now in life. He's the very reason that we woke up this morning with breath. He's the very reason I'm going to use myself. I, I, I'm excited this morning about how he just heals my body. I'm laying there in the very image of death. This goes for all of us now. In the very image of death, every, that every time you lay down and go to sleep, you are laying there. You woke up out of it, the very image of death. And you got nerve enough to get up and take credit for everything about what you have, what you know, you know, all this stuff, how you brag on yourself. God say, tell them, brag on me. Be boastful in the Lord. Be boastful in him. See, because when you do that, when you give him that credit, when you give him the credit for all his mercy and his grace and his favor over your life, you're going to see he's going to turn some things around. He's turning right now some things around in your life, some things around in my life. And we got to stand on that. Hold your head up. Listen to me. If you drop your head and you looking down at the ground, there's nothing down there. Hold your head up. Don't let the world make you bend. Because once you bend, people are going to ride your back. Let me say that again. In life, once you bend, people are going to ride your back. Stand up straight because you are somebody. You are somebody. You know why you somebody? Because God made and created you. Get excited about that this morning. Love on yourself. Understand yourself. Appreciate yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to tell people, yeah, I love the Lord. I think it's too many of us. Not think I don't really like that word because you sound unsure. I believe that there are too many of us who are walking away from God and God is not pleased with that, who are putting ourselves in the front and putting God in the back. And you know what? When you talk, whatever you do, whatever that gift is that he have given you, people can't see him because you put yourself in the front and you put God to the back. And that is not showing the appreciation of God waking you up this morning, letting you go about your way, keeping you in your right mind. You know, he dispatched, dispatched angels all night long to watch over you. To protect you as you lie there in the very image of death. You know what? If we, if we, I'm talking about those of us who have been called by 
his name. You've been called out by God to do some things. He's given you a mission. He's given you a vision. And you're going to take the back seat because you're afraid of what somebody else say. So you won't boast about God. You won't talk about his goodness. You won't talk about his mercy. You won't talk about his grace. He didn't have to let you see another day. It was his decision. And you're going to sit down. God frowns on that. He frowns on that. See, we got a problem. We, we want to make everybody feel good. Even when we talk about God. And people give us some rejection to it. I better tone that down. I better tone that down. But let me tell you something. When you toning that down, you tuning God out. When you tone it down, his goodness, his mercy over your life, the favor. Look, y'all, we have come a mighty, mighty long ways as women, as women. Can I, can I say that? And then, and then, and then, and then you've got people who want to take something away from you that's been in place for 50 years. Okay. Women's rights. Women have always been the warriors in their homes. Women have always been there to pray for their spouses, to pray for their children, just pray over their family. Women have been the backbones of, of families. But somehow somebody came along and started robbing us. Started robbing us of what we stand for. That's why we have so many that can get out there and degrade themselves for a dollar bill. Nothing. God said you the apple of a man's eye. You the apple of a man's eye. You forgot about that. You degrade yourself. We have women taking the lives of their own children. When we start doing that. We, we, we carry them for nine months. When we start doing that, I can tell you when. When we got away from God. We stopped caring. We stopped walking lockstep in his word. We stopped leaning on him. We stopped. Because we stopped boasting about what God was doing and start boasting about what we was doing. And it, and, and it never was about us in the first place. It never was about us. It was always about him. Our, our ancestors had less than us. Less than us. But they fought harder than us. They fought for their family. They fought for the future. And we gonna sit down and not fight? As women, what's wrong with us? I don't know about you, but I'm telling you, we gonna lose this game without God. What's, what I mean by that, we gonna lose this game, we gonna lose our families, we gonna lose our children, our future. I wanna talk to women on this. Even though I know that he put the man in place. Don't get me wrong. And they do, they are to do their part and take care of the families. They are to. But when you become a man and you just think it only about yourself, God is not pleased with that either. See, we all got some responsibility in this thing when we don't boast about God. When we put God on the back burner, you know what? We cannot carry out our roles. And you might say, why are you talking on this level? I'm talking about what God talking about. I'm talking about what the streets talking about. I'm talking about what life is talking about. I'm talking about the fact that if we don't get ourselves together, if we as human beings, do not get ourselves together. We gonna lose an entire generation. And then how many of us are praying in our homes? How many of us are talking about God in our home? How many of us are putting God first in our home? 
How many of us are doing that? How many of us are being embarrassed because we don't want people to know that we got a relationship with God? Come on, because there's some people out there that's guilty of it. And this is why God laid this on my heart. Boast about God. Boast about him. Everything that you have belongs to him. And let me tell you something. You can't, you cannot sugarcoat life. You can't sugarcoat it. Because it's coming, ready or not. And I'm going to tell you something. If life is coming, ready or not, you better have yourself a good teammate. I'm not talking about another human being. I'm talking about the best teammate that you can have is God. Because sooner or later, something in life going to get next to you. Let me say that again because, see, we playing with this thing called life. Sooner or later, life, something in life is going to get next to you. Something is going to impact you in a way that you weren't even ready for sooner or later. Where is your investment? Where is your investment? And all of us that's alive right now and been around for a while, we can say I've come a mighty long ways. Because we have. We have. We might not be where we want to be, but thank God that we're not where we used to be. And that's an individual thing. You can say that about your own life. I might not be. Electra might not be where she want to be. But I thank God I'm not where I used to be. I thank God for that. We all ought to thank God for that. We all have to get back to him. We all got to learn how to boast about him. When people say things to you to try to take you down, you tell them the goodness of God over your life, in your life, and what he has done. I was listening to something that I had been thinking about, and I always I always share this because it's so important. A lady was saying, you can't spend your time looking at people that's doing the same thing that you're doing or you're going to lose your focus. Whatever you are doing, stop looking at the same people, that's, the people that's doing what you're doing. Just do your thing. Just do your thing and do it your way. And have a clear understanding that this is my mission. I'm walking towards my purpose. And I'm not by myself. I got a teammate. If you watch God, you'll stop watching people all the time. Can I say that again? If you start watching God more, you'll stop watching people all the time. Because you'll start trying to measure yourself up against people. But look here, can't nobody measure themselves up against God. Believe that or not, take that how you want to. You take that how you want to. Cannot nobody measure themselves up against God. Because your measuring stick is just not long enough. All of his mercy, all of his grace, all of his favor, you can't measure yourself up against God. Don't even try it. But one thing you can do, you can get him as your teammate. All these campaigns going on now, you got to have him as your running mate. See, get him on your team. I know, I know every team is a team because they got at least one other person working with them. But your number one teamwork, your number one teammate needs to be God. You need to get that. You need to understand that. You need to stand on that. Because he's the only reason why you have and you are what you are. Everything that I have belongs to him. Everything that you have 
belongs to him. There is nothing that you have. There is nothing that you have gained in this life that he don't have control over. Nothing. So learn to boast about him. I say that with everything on the inside of me. You don't have to do it like people want you to do it, but you do need to do it where it's pleasing to God. Okay? Your strength comes from him. Your strength comes from God. I tell people now, between time and thieves, something in life gonna change. Him and I, between time and thieves, something in life is going to change. So while you're going through life, while you while you rising up every morning, tell somebody about the goodness of God. Boast about him and those things that he continues to do in both your life and mine. And I say this all the time and I'm going to close out. Listen, I when I talk to you guys, I'm talking to myself. Because we all have to be reminded. We all got to be reminded that God shows no respect of a person. In other words, he's not going to do no more for me than he'll do for you. And as time moves on, in both your life and mine, changes will come. I used to didn't have problems with my eyes. I wasn't having to use medication for my eyes in the morning. I used to didn't have to get up in the mornings and, 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 and drink orange juice. I could drink orange juice at whatever time I wanted to. But now, with these blood sugars, I... Get up in the morning. The first thing I've got to have is orange juice. I didn't have sinus problems like this. Where I got, they get so bad that they can put you into tears. Come on. Between time and thieves, something going to change in every last one of our lives. And that's why I can say I can boast about God. And you can say you can boast about God because it's him and only him that keep you going. Because he gave you another chance. Come on now. If you're going to have a team, make sure God is on that team. You can't do this by yourself. None of us can. None of us can. Stop letting people beat you down with their words. Nobody knows what nobody is going through. Pray for people. Pray for this nation. When, even when God puts something in your spirit. You know, when God put a person on my heart, I pray. Lord, I don't know what's going on with them. But it's a reason that you laid them on my heart. I just start talking to God. I write letters to God. I do. I write letters to God. Because I, I have a relationship with him like, like that. And I know some of you do the same things. Because it's some things that only one that understands you is God. And he's not trying to criticize you. He, he want to grow you. He want to grow you out of that situation. I pray you have a wonderful day. I pray that this morning's inspirational talk, I pray that it encourage you. Boast about God. Boast about the things of God. Boast about just the things, the people of God. Things that you see God doing in people's lives. The way that you see God exalting somebody else. It don't always have to be about you. Lift somebody else's name up in prayer. Can you do that? And I mean really mean it. 
take somebody, lay somebody else's name at the foot of Jesus. Can you do that? Stop always making it about you. Boast about God and look for his guidance. Can you do that? I pray that you can. I really pray that you can. Because he loves all of us. And he works through human agency. And I'm going to tell you something. If he can't get a blessing through you, he'll stop sending them to you. It's some people right now in your life that need some help and you know it. And you won't help them. And God gave you the resources and the means to help them. But you won't help them. You'd rather hold what God has given you to give away. And watch that person fall. And God frowns on that. That's how powerful he is. That's how powerful he is. He, we're supposed to be taking care of one another. But yet, I'll watch my brother fall before I give him what God gave me to give him. I'll watch my sister fall before God gave him, before I give him or give her what God gave me to give her. And if you're holding back something that God gave you to give somebody else, God see you. God see you. You might really want to keep it. But if that's not yours, that's the overflow. That is the overflow. You need to release it to where he told you. And it's not always money. Sometimes it's his word that a person needs. Sometimes it's a hug. Sometimes it's a comfort. It's not always money. But God get, put something in you to help somebody else along the way in their weakness. They don't have the strength right now. Sometimes, and I've been there, been so down, so down at points in my life that I couldn't even, I couldn't even pray. But God had people, and I wasn't embarrassed to say it. I said, I need you to pray for me. I need you to pray for me. I need you to pray for me. We can't be embarrassed about points in life where we are. God already knew you was going to be there because he wrote that in the script of your life. So get up, rise up this morning, go out and do whatever it is that you got to go do. And as you go throughout this day, Put God in the front of whatever you do and boast about him. Move you out the way and boast about God. Okay? Y'all have a wonderful day. <laughs>